DC Multiverse! How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel today. Why don't we take a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dick Grayson Robin action figure. As we can see, old Dicky boy comes with an actual rope attached to his batarang and six extra interchangeable hands on top of the ones that the figure already has attached. On the side here, we see Robin Dick Grayson DC Rebirth. And on the back, we see some artwork, which is actually not DC Rebirth Dick Grayson artwork. We'll, we'll get into that in just a few moments. So now we're gonna use my handy dandy knife and we're gonna cut out our dick in a box. We're gonna cut dick out of the box. We're gonna, we are going to release Robin from the packaging, okay? The bird is gonna leave the nest. Uh, whoops, well that, oh well. And now with the figure removed from the packaging, we can see everything much more clearly. The figure, the bat rope, the trading card, and all of those extra hands. I'm probably not the only one who has said thus, maybe I'm just echoing the sentiment that it really would be fantastic if more figures came with a plethora of extra hands like this. Punching, grabbing, open, and gesture hands. And a bat rope accessory with an actual string a string, the trading card that this came with, actually does not have an image from Rebirth. This is actually from All-Star Batman and Robin. By the way, if you want to pause the video to read this, feel free to do so. And the figure itself, we've already seen most of these body parts used on the Carrie Kelly Robin from the Dark Knight Returns wave of figures. Although going from toe to head, there are a few differences. The skin tone and the green and red color palettes, as well as the yellow, are all different to varying degrees. And I think overall, I do like the slightly darker red and green that we're looking at in comparison to the original color palette of Carrie Kelly Robin. Dick's trunks have been re-sculpted to have that sort of fish scale pattern on the front and really everywhere, while Carrie Kelly just got the smooth green treatment. Also, the torsos aren't quite the same. There is a slight difference in the pectoral area. You can see that Dick Grayson's actually goes more straight down, and Carrie Kelly's has more of a hump. Now, the only downside to these figures sharing a lot of the same body parts is that it would have been kind of nice if the bottom piece of Robin's tunic that hangs down below the belt was maybe half as long. And just like Carrie Kelly's legs, Dick Grayson's legs have very little in the way of muscular definition. It's almost like his legs look like cigarettes. And as far as the head sculpt for a young Master Grayson, well, I wouldn't think that you were an insane person if you said, you know, Brad, that doesn't match the trading card. And that's because, well, it doesn't. This little Dick's head sculpt is actually based off of what he looked like on the cover of All-Star Batman and Robin issue number 10. I mean, look at this little comparison here. The hair all going down one side and the little cheeky grin in the corner of his mouth. This is definitely based off of that cover. And it's not a terrible head sculpt as far as the actual sculpt, the profile goes. I do, however, feel like the good folks in the factory may find it slightly challenging painting young Master Grayson's mask on. Look, here's what it would look like if the mask was done the way it was supposed to be. I know the one thing a lot of you folks at home are going to be wondering about is exactly how he pairs up with some different Batman figures. So this one here, I figure, is the first one that I'm going to pair him up with because he is also classic looking. Of course, this is a fun one. We have a Hush style Batman alongside this Robin. I think that looks really great as well. And here I brought out an arrangement of various dicks just to see how they've grown in size and stature from Little Robin all the way up to older Nightwing. As for the articulation of this Little Robin, we've pretty much already been through it with Carrie Kelly way back when, but I'll go through it again just in case you missed that video. This Robin's head, oh goodness. That's actually a lot, that's a lot of motion. That's really good. You've also got the rounded hinge in the armpit with the socket you can see there. Full bicep swivel round and round, double jointed elbows, rounded hinge in the wrist. Don't expect anything in the way of articulation in the torso. 
just because you got the tunic that's going to get in the way. It's going to make it, you know, knit. It's going to negate the articulation. We have rounded ball joints down here in the groin rather than the typical way that McFarlane chooses to articulate his legs. And this is definitely something that I like to see on McFarlane figures just because it gives a much better unhindered range rather than the hinge inside of the clicky joint there. There is very little, as usual, in the way of roundy round like that. However, Robin does have double jointed knees and the rounded hinge in the ankle with the toe articulation. So what do I think about this Dick Grayson young Robin action figure based off his appearance in All-Star Batman and Robin the uh, uh, D DC Rebirth? Honestly, I think it's pretty good. The only things that I would change about this figure are the things that I previously mentioned. I'd shorten the tunic at the bottom. I would have added more definition to the legs. And I probably would have chosen a head sculpt that was more like the imagery on the inside of All-Star Batman and Robin rather than the one piece of cover art from issue number 10. But all things considered, it really is quite a nice rendition of Dick Grayson Robin in his younger years. And although I don't know for sure, I think that this is probably going to be a fan favorite amongst McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse collectors. Because Batman has to have a Robin. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have yourself a DC day everybody and take care.